some important questions related to bond dollar our first question see which of the following is paramagnetic which of the following molecule is paramagnetic okay first option is c2 second option n2 third option o2 2 minus and n2 plus is that first question first one is c2 total number of electron in c2 molecule is 12 then subtract 8 electron it's a shortcut to predict magnetic behavior that we already discussed in first session okay 12 total number of electron 12 then subtract 8 electron remaining 4 electron remember it's an even number even number remaining number is an even number molecule is diamagnetic diamagnetic n2 total number of electron 14 14 minus 8 6 given number molecule is diamagnetic diamagnetic clear o2 2 minus total number of electron 18 minus 8 10 even number diamagnetic diamagnetic n2 plus total number of electron 13 minus 8 5 it's an odd number so molecule is non para magnetic this one is the answer n2 plus is the answer n2 plus is para magnetic remaining number remaining number is an odd number so the molecule is para magnetic but here it is one exception o2 and b2 O2 and B2. These two molecules are paramagnetic. Remain even though remaining number is an even number. O2 and B2 is paramagnetic. Clear. First question over. Second. We okay. see our second question. Which of the following has bond order three? Which of the following has bond order three? Apply the shortcut for calculating bond order. carbon atom in carbon atom in number 6 oxygen atom in number 8 total number of electron 40 okay subtract 8 electron remaining electron is 6 it's divided into two part part 1 maximum number of electron is 6 in part 1 maximum number of electrons accumulate in part 1 is 6 remaining electron enter into part 2 remaining no electron is 0 bond order 6 minus 0 by 2 3 right next question next choice cn minus carbon atom number 6 nitrogen atom number 7 7 plus 6 13 electron here is one minus charge so total number of electron 14 minus 8 again remaining 6 electron part 1 6 part 2 0 bond order of 6 minus 0 by 2 that's equal 3 A nitrogen atom number seven, oxygen atom number eight. Total number of electron fifteen. Fifteen minus eight one. Fifteen minus one. Here is one positive charge. So subtract one electron. That is equal to total number of electron fourteen. Then subtract eight electron. Remaining electron six. Six is zero. Bond order six minus zero by two. That is equal to three. All one, two, three. All these three choices are in what order? Three. So all them clear. Second question clear. And next third question. Our next question. Which of the following has maximum number of anti-bonding electron? Which of the following has maximum number of anti-bonding electron? O2, C2, N2, and O2 plus. Choice one. O2 total number of electron 16 minus 8 subtract 8 electron remaining 8 electron apply a shortcut for calculating number of bonding and anti bonding electron if total number of electron greater than 14 apply the line like this small line big line big line small line these two are anti bonding orbital and these two are bonding orbital here is one orbital here we have two orbital here we have two orbital here one orbital that we already discussed in previous video 
AG electron is here. Apply A electron. 1, 2, 3, 4. These two orbitals are having same energy. So, we are unsure of maximum multiplicity. 2 electron. Here, 2, 2. Maximum number of anti bonding electron. Maximum number of anti bonding electron. Listen, here 8 means 4 is bonding electron. And here 4 is anti bonding electron. ABMO, anti bonding electron. Clear? So, number of BMO, number of BMO, bonding electron is 6 plus 4, 10 electron. Number of ABMO, anti bonding molecular orbital electron is 4 plus here it is small 4 electron is the 2, 6 electron. Right? See, C2. C2 total number of electron 12, subtract 8 electron, remaining 4 electron, 8, 4 is BMO and 4 is ABMO, 4 is ABMO, uh, if total number of electron less than 40, draw the line like this, big line, small line, big line, small line, 2 orbital big line, 1 orbital small line, 2 orbital big line, 1 orbital small line, these two are anti bonding orbital, then remain 8 electron, 1, 2, 3, 4, right, okay, then number of BMO, number of BMO is 4 plus 4, 8, number of ABMO, number of ABMO is uh, 4, okay, next is N2, 14 electron, 14 minus 8, 6, okay, uh, small line, Sorry, big line, small line, big line, small line. Six electron, these two are anti bonding orbital. Here is two orbital, here one orbital, here two orbital, here one orbital. Six electron, one, two, three, four, five, six. Here four is BMO and four is ABMO, ABMO. Then total, total BMO. 6 plus 4, 10. Total A, total A, B, M, O. 4 plus 0, that's equal to 4. Right. And O2 plus it's 15 electron. 15 minus 8, that's equal to o 7. Then o, there is of O2, line is small line, big line, big line, small line. These two are anti bonding orbital. Here one orbital, here we have two orbital. Here 2 orbital, here 1 orbital, 7 electron, 7 electron, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Total BMO, total BMO, 6 plus 4, 4 here, 4 here, 4 BMO, 4 ABMO, right, 6 plus 4, 10, total ABMO, anti bonding molecular orbital, is 4 plus 1, 5. Question is, which of the following has maximum number of anti bonding electron? Here, O2. Maximum number of anti bonding electron in O2 is 6. All other cases, here it is, it is 4, here it is 4, here it is 5. So, answer is O2. Right? Next question. See, next question. Next question. Which of the following has maximum bond dissociation energy which of the following has maximum bond dissociation energy we know that bond order and bond dissociation energy are directly proportional bond order is directly proportional to bond dissociation energy see first choice n2 total number of electron 14 14 minus 8 6 6 0 bond order 6 minus 0 pi 2 that's equal 3 right F2, 18, 18 minus 8, 10, 6, 4, bond order 6 minus 4, 5, 2, that's equal to 1, N2 plus 15, 15 minus 8, that's equal to 7, 6, 1, 6 minus 1 by 2, that's equal to 2.5, O2 minus 17, minus 8, that is 9, clear, 6, 3, 6 minus 3 by 2, that's equal to 1.5, right, here maximum bond order in the case of N2. Maximum bond order in the case of N2. Bond order is directly proportional to bond dissociation energy. So N2 has maximum bond order and maximum bond dissociation energy. Clear? See next question. Next question. 
which of the following does not exist which of the following does not exist if the bond order of molecule is zero molecule does not exist listen o2 total number of electron 16 16 minus 8 remaining 8 6 2 x minus 2 by 2 that's equal to 2 b2 10 electron 8 2 2 0 2 minus 0 by 2 that's equal to 1 n2 total number of electron 20 20 minus 8 12 then remaining 12 electron 6 by 6 6 minus 6 6 minus 6 by 2 that is equal to 0 molecule does not exist n2 molecule does not exist see do plus 11 electron 11 minus 8 5 5 0 by minus 0 by 2 so that is 2 point sorry 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 11 is 3 3 Review. Three minus zero by two. That's equal to one point five. Is that here? Any two molecule here bond order is zero, so molecule does not exist. Bond order zero, molecule does not exist. So any two is the answer. In this section, it is the last question. Okay. Your last question is which of the following have been arranged? In the increasing order of bond order, see the options. Which of the following have been arranged in the increasing order of bond order? Okay, these are the options. Okay, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Clear? Don't forget to subscribe.